Thanks for staying with us. Yuma Proving Ground is the home to the elite airborne test force jumpers. Their job is to maintain and repair parachutes, webbings and fabrics to ensure safe and effective jumps. I had the opportunity to visit YPG and share the process in the special report. YPG's Airborne Test Force inspects and tests parachutes just like this before they jump or send out equipment. And there's so much that goes into it. Three, two, one, and they're off. But before our troops free fall into the sky, their parachutes have to go through the ultimate test. And it all happens here at Yuma Proving Ground. So when the parachutes come back, whether it's personnel or cargo parachutes from a jump, uh, I inspect them and then I repair them if there's any damages to them. To make it easier to see if there are any holes, the parachutes are laid out on a light table. And he's going to just lay this canopy out, this parachute, and he's going to keep rolling the, the canopy and look for any type of holes or burns. So we use a light table for smaller shoots like this or the personnel shoots. Sergeant Finley says the small parachutes take about five to ten minutes to inspect, though it can vary. They get more difficult if there's a lot of damage to it because everything that has damage, we have to annotate it just so we're keeping a good track record. And then, of course, when it's time to fix it, we know where exactly where to fix it at. Some repairs can take anywhere from 30 minutes to about two hours. He has a damage on this canopy. It's one of the bigger ones, the G11, that you've seen on the loads that were out there earlier, right? So he's just fixing. There's, it's probably a small hole, and he's just put another piece of canopy on there and it's just repairing it, sewing it up so there's no more holes so we can put it on the next load to get out the airplane. After repairs are done, they can be packed up by three or more parachute riggers. Right now they're doing like a long fold. They're folding it up and they're tying it down. So once they fold it all the way up to the top of this canopy, they're going to go ahead and start stuffing it in the bag. ATF's non-commissioned officer in charge says he's proud of the morale the team of 20 has. Their work ethic is good because they wouldn't have been chosen to come here. And, you know, it is it is stressful. It does get busy from time to time. There is a lot of downtime, too. And so with that, we have to keep training. The team uses a blue platform that represents the weight of a Humvee, a military vehicle that is about 25,000 pounds, to make sure the parachute can hold the amount of weight they want. Right now, Sergeant Scaife is rehabbing. This is a load that already went out a few weeks ago. So once the load went out, um, it got loose. So he's tightening down all the straps that connect to the parachute. And all that excess he's doing is just cutting everything and getting it out the way. So nothing, nothing left is on the load that doesn't need to be there. When the parachutes are put onto the cargo, the soldiers go around the entire perimeter, making sure everything is secured properly. So right now, uh, Sergeant Denisa, he's just checking these parachute restraints, which is tied down to this load binder, making sure everything's tied correctly and tight so nothing's loose. There are two ways ATF jump out of an aircraft, static line and free fall. For the free fall jump, it's typically like skydiving, jump out, do some tricks in the air, check your altimeter, and you go ahead and just pull. And then for static line, we have our anchor line cable that's on the, the aircraft with our snap hook. We're just hooking up. And then the jump master is going to give us the commands. When they give us the green light, we jump out. Depending on the parachute we're using, the MC6 within six seconds is going to open up. These projects are done for customers all around the U.S. They just want to test new whether it's new vehicles or new weight like we were showing you out there how much a parachute can sustain the weight and some of the platforms as well that were out there master sergeant bullock assisted me in putting on a personal shoot to get the full effect of the weight and then you cinch it and then you take it again and you're going to run it back through Okay. Yep, it's called a quick release. So when you need to get out of the chute quickly and get on the ground, that'll pop really fast. He says they do the same thing over and over but are human, which is why they always have the book out. These guys have been around the block for a hot minute now, so they know what they're doing. So I have a lot of trust in them, and uh, we're a family, and that's the way I think it needs to be. Reporting from Yuma Proving Ground, I'm Vanessa Gungora, 13 on your side.